Welcome back dear students in our science class. Today we will discuss about causes of loss of biodiversity. Some of the major causes are first deforestation. Deforestation means clearing of forest by cutting down trees on a large scale and using that land for other purposes. Deforestation is done to meet the demands of the growing population. Deforestation takes place due to the following reasons. First, to create space for building houses and factories. Second, to clear land for agriculture. Third, to obtain wood and other useful products. Even large areas of forest are also naturally destroyed by forest fires, acid rain, severe droughts or volcanic eruptions. Second cause illegal hunting the illegal hunting of wild animals for commercial uses is called poaching the cheetah in indian forest and dodo a unique bird found in mauritius have become extinct due to excessive hunting third pollution pollution of soil air and water adversely affects many plants and animals pesticides and other harmful chemicals accumulating in water bodies kill fishes and other aquatic animals. Oil spill is also a great threat to marine organisms. Fourth, natural disasters. Natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, droughts, cyclones have also contributed in the reduction of plant and animal species in many areas. Fifth, exhaustive species. Animals and plants that do not belong to a place originally and are introduced from some other places are called exhaustive species. The introduction of exhaustive species has adversely affected many native species of plants and animals, depriving them of space and food. For example, water hyacinth and exhaustive species that has been introduced in the Indian waters grows very fast and covers the whole water body. This exhaustic variety is threatening the survival of many native aquatic plants of India. Now consequences of deforestation. First, with the cutting of forest, the soil is not able to hold water and so the amount of runoff water increases. This leads to floods in the low-lying areas. Second, deforestation also leads to soil erosion. The roots of trees bind the soil. With the cutting down of trees, soil gets easily blown away by wind and swept away by water. Third, as the top layer of soil gets eroded, soil fertility decreases. The soil that remains has less humus and minerals. With time, the deforested area gets converted into an area without vegetation and looks like a desert. This is called desertification. Fourth, deforestation leads to destruction of many habitats and this leads to loss of many plants and animals. Fifth, deforestation leads to decrease in the water holding capacity of soil. Hence, the amount of water that infiltrates from soil to ground gets reduced. This reduces the water table of the area. Sixth, deforestation leads to increased level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide being a greenhouse Gas traps the heat of sun rays and increases the temperature of earth. Hence, deforestation causes global warming. 